Hello everyone! I hope you guys had a wonderful new year. I don't know if it's kind of moot to say that, but I hope you guys had a great new year because this is my first video that I'm filming and uploading in 2014. So I'm finally getting around to my 2013 favorites. So I'm actually going to do 13 favorites for 2013 because if I were just to list all of them, this video would be like an hour long. Um, but I'm also going to be doing a giveaway, so everything that I am going to be showing in this video I will be giving away at the end. Um, more details on that below slash at the end of this video. Okay, so without further ado, because I've been promising to do this video for months, I feel like, um, I'm just going to get started. I'll start with the bigger items, which are the hair tools, because they're taking up the most space in my little basket over here. The first thing for 2013 that I loved um, is this Con Air Curl Secret. So I should preface with this and say that this isn't for everyone but I happen to really like it because it works really well with my hair and it gives me the kind of curls that I want. I like this for a few reasons. A. It works really well with my hair like I said. B. It gives me the really nice kind of loose wavy beachy curls that I like. I don't like really tight curls because I have shorter hair now so when I have really tight curls it kind of it just looks weird with my short hair so I like that this kind of gives me a really nice loose curl and C I really like how easy to use it is and um, what I don't like about it is I don't like how you can't or you can't change the way the barrel turns with the more expensive version of this which is the Babyliss version you can do that so you can have it turn clockwise or counterclockwise this one you just kind of are stuck with whatever way the the barrel rolls and the second reason why I don't like this or not really why I don't like this but why I wouldn't recommend it to everyone is because you have it's very finicky I mean your hair kind of has to be really tangle free um, fairly neat otherwise it will tangle and knot and that is just not fun I'm counting this as one of my 13 favorites of 2013 because it's a really innovative product and it works really well with my hair okay so after giving a mini review on that when I said I wouldn't moving on to my second favorite of 2013 which is my Mason Pearson brush I actually got this in 2012 I've just been using it ever since and I thought I would include it in in this video because I don't know if I mentioned it a lot in previous videos but I love this hairbrush I just love the size of it this is a handy version it's the second smallest version and um, I just like how it fits in my hand it fits very comfortably in my hand it goes through my hair really easily um, this is the mixed bristle so it's a nylon and bore bristle and it's a really great travel size too so it's not too big and um, this is just one of my favorite hairbrushes of all time if not my favorite hairbrush of all time, if you can say that about a hairbrush. Number three is something for the body. This is the no particular order, by the way, um, but this is the Biotherm Anti-Drying Body Milk. And um, I've just been recently getting more into Biotherm products, and I've been really liking them. This is by far one of my favorite body lotions that I've ever purchase especially in this past year it just works so well with my skin um, it's really moisturizing especially in the winter time especially this past winter or currently this winter season we're having it's been so cold and the air has been so dry and everything about the season is just dehydrating my skin so this has been a lifesaver and I also used it in the summer this is actually my third um, my third bottle of this so absolutely love it. It works well for any season, but it just keeps my skin really nice and hydrated and moisturized and looking really nice and silky and smooth. Number four, mascaras. I have been really getting back into mascaras this past year. I mean, I've always kind of been sporadic with mascara. Sometimes I really love it and sometimes I just, I don't bother. Um, but this past year, I've fallen in love with these three mascaras or I've fallen re-in love with Anyway, this is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara that came out this past year in 2013 and I really like it. It 
separates my lashes really nicely, it defines them, and um, it's fairly water resistant, so it lasts pretty much all day without leaving raccoon eyes, so I have to say I really like that. I am also obsessed with the Lancome Hypnos Doll Lashes. I have been really in love with this mascara for the past few years, um, but especially this past year they came out with this limited edition packaging for Albert Elbaz, and it's just stunning. This is actually my last tube of this. Um, this is my backup tube. So I will probably just keep this even after it is all used up because I just love the packaging. And then the last one is the Dior Dior Show. Now this one I fell in love with like a few years ago, probably like in 2010. And then I kind of rediscovered again this past year and I love it. It's, it's quite a bigger wand than I have been used to these past couple of years, but it really does... Um, define my lashes and it lasts all day long and I really like it. This is going to be a lip duo that I've been really loving except it's only one really one lip thing and a compact mirror. Um, I'll start with the mirror. This is the Chanel duo duo compact mirror. I don't know what it's called. It's, it's in French. So um, this is basically a dual mirror or double-sided mirror. So there's a regular side and a magnified side. And I love just throwing this in my makeup bag. It's so great for touch-ups. If you're touching up your lipstick or if you're just, you know, checking something out on your face. I actually got this a few years ago and um, the sales associate told me that it was limited edition. So I actually bought two of them. So, because I was going to use one as a backup just in case this one broke but I mean it's been a few years now and I still see it online online on chanel.com and also in chanel boutiques so I guess it's not limited edition after all so I'm going to be giving away the backup I have of this and then the lip product that has been probably the standout product for me this past year is the Clarins um, what is this called? Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. I don't know, I've been kind of all over the place with lip products this past year, but this is one thing that I've just been going back to. It's just really easy to apply. Um, it's a very light, um, almost kind of a gloss feeling, but it has, it's not as sticky as a gloss, um, but it's just really easy to apply. It's a great color. This is number five, Candy Pink. Um, whenever I'm just unsure of what I'm going to wear that day, I just throw this on because it's just so easy and it goes well with everything. The fifth thing is a brush. This is the number 160 brush from Makeup Forever. They launched a whole new series of artisan brushes. So this is what they look like now. It's got this dark wooden handle. And um, like I said, this is number 160 and I absolutely love this brush. Um, I just love the shape of it and at first I wasn't sure how I felt about how long the bristles were, but it actually is wonderful to apply bronzer, blush, even powder with. The hairs are quite flexible too, so you can get the most pigmented blush colors and apply it really beautifully with this brush because while you pick up quite a bit of product, you can just, it's really easy to be gentle with the application. So absolutely love this brush. This is probably one of my favorite um, blush brushes this past year. Number six is cheeks. So I have been really loving two blushes this past year. Um, the first one is the cream blush or the whole range of cream blushes from Bourjois, but this one is my favorite. It's number two, Healthy Glow, and um, no surprise, I love it because it's a beautiful kind of peachy coral color. No, it's more of like a peach color than a coral, but it's so pretty on, especially in the summertime. It just gives your cheeks a really natural glow. I love this, and it lasts all day long. Um, I was kind of worried that I would use it up really quickly because it's such a small pot, um, but you just really need a little amount of it, and it blends really beautifully, and it just melds in with your skin really nicely. The other blush I've been really loving is a rediscovery. It's Benefit Dallas, which is right here. And um, I don't know why more people don't pick up this blush slash bronzer because it's really, really versatile. Um, I think it would work really great for pale, pale skin and also really great for like medium skin tones such as myself. Um, it just adds a really nice rosy glow to your cheeks. It can also be used as a bronzer, but I prefer it as a cheek color because I just think it looks really natural on my cheeks. And this has been one of those blushes that I've reached for if I'm kind of, you know, unsure about what blush I want to wear that day. Like Benefit Dallas has been probably my go-to. 
Okay, my numbering is way off. I think this is number eight. Um, this is the YSL Touche Claw. Now, I've been back and forth with this for the longest time, but I finally landed on, yes, I love it. Um, it just is a really great highlighter. Um, it's not a concealer um, by any means, but it just is really great under the eyes just to brighten up your under eyes. Um, it's also really nice on the cheekbone, on the um, arch of your brow. Yeah, it just gives your skin a really nice glow. I am in number three and um, it just, it's kind of like a peachy kind of color, um, but it just, it looks great on my skin and it really does kind of brighten and illuminate my face. Okay, number nine is skincare things. Um, these three things have been kind of a staple in my skincare routine lately. Um, this one I've been using all year. This is the Clarins Beauty Flash Bomb. And um, I really love this because it's a really nice thick kind of creamy consistency which I happen to really like. And um, it just feels so great and soothing on the skin, especially if you use it as a mask. It just kind of tightens your skin up and is really refreshing on the skin. So I love to use this also as a moisturizer um, in the night or in the morning, usually in the morning. I just kind of smooth it over and my skin is just instantly hydrated and it's just a really nice foundation for any makeup. Then we have the Cebu Sea Buckthorn Hydrating Serum. I've also been using this for probably eight or nine months, so I've been using it since like I want to say April-ish um, and I've been really loving it. This is also really hydrating and um, it has such a strange consistency because it feels like water in your hands. Like if you, when you pump it out it's so liquid that it just it doesn't seem like it would be hydrating on the skin, but it really is. It just absorbs really nicely into the skin, and um, it just keeps your skin hydrated all day long. Then the last thing is another kind of rediscovery this past year, and it's the Embryolisse um, Face Cream. I love this stuff too. I only use this in the morning though. Just like the Beauty Flash Bomb, this is just a really great hydrating cream. Um, it's wonderful for just using alone or if you want to put makeup over it. It's a really nice base. Number 10 is nail polish. I couldn't pick just one nail polish that I've been really loving this past year. So I decided to go with a little collection that I've been really loving. And it's a recent collection from Essie. Essie has been probably my favorite nail polish brand this past year. I, I feel like it's always my favorite because they come out with really great colors and I love cream formulas. So that's usually why Essie is my go-to. But I was really loving their latest collection which was called Encrusted. And it's just filled with a bunch of amazing glitter and textured polish polishes. Um, so these are three of my favorites. Um, the first one is Jazzy Jubilant, which is just a really fun kind of confetti of colorful glitter. The other one is um, Hors d'oeuvres, which is a gold and silver mix of glitter. So there's like um, gold micro glitter and then big chunky silver glitter and it just looks so pretty on the nails. And then the last one is kind of appropriate. It kind of looks like snowflakes. Um, it's like little tiny uh, holographic and white confetti, um, but it looks like snowflakes on the nail. So I love this one too. We're getting down to the last three products. And number 11 would have to be this amazing shimmering skin perfector from Becca. This one is the limited edition one. I think it's still limited edition, but it's still available on Sephora.com and also at Sephora Eaton Center. They usually stop or restock about once a week so you can still find it in store um, but this is just an amazing highlighter um, if you've never tried the Becca shimmering skin perfectors I highly suggest you do you run out to the store and try it or pick it up online they have two versions they have a liquid version and a solid version and I really like both I have um, one of those skin types that can handle both, like I can use a liquid highlighter or a pressed highlighter, it doesn't really matter, my skin's not too finicky with those kind of things. But this is just so pretty, it's the most beautiful rose gold, it just looks so beautiful on, I don't even know how to describe it, it just gives your skin a gorgeous glow, a 
beautiful luminosity and um, it's not too glittery which I like because some highlighters it's just it's too much but this one you can um, you can't really go wrong with it I mean it blends so easily it looks really natural depending on what your skin tone is you could even use it as a blush um, I would just highly recommend this one the second last thing this is number 12 is my hourglass ambient lighting powder I have been obsessed with the hourglass ambient lighting powders and I do have a few of them but I chose this one which is dim light because it is the one that I use every single day and I still have tons of product left so I don't know if I'm not using enough of it because I've had this since April and I use it every single day um, but I haven't even hit pan on it so very strange um, but I just apply a really light layer all over my face and it's a wonderful setting powder even though it's not made for oil control I feel like it does make my skin less shiny and um, it just gives my skin a really nice soft focused look to it which I can't say no to it just it looks amazing on and then last thing number 13 is my Chantecaille Just Skin I have caved and I'm officially upgrading this to holy grail status um, I was on the fence with it for so long. I'm sure if you've seen a couple of my past videos where I mention this, I always say like, I don't know why I like this so much because I feel like it works just as well as other tinted moisturizers that I own. So after making that claim on one of my last videos, I thought to myself, you know what? I'm just going to quit this cold turkey or at least try a few other things and um, see how I like those and so I went back to my Laura Mercier um, Tinted Moisturizer. I also used the um, Becca, I don't remember what it's called but it's like a foundation but it's more of like a tinted moisturizer. Um, what other one did I go back to? There's a couple other ones that I went back to that I really, really loved. And honestly, they don't compare to this, which <laughs> makes me happy and sad at the same time because this is so expensive. Um, but it makes me happy because I found something that I really, really enjoy using and something that I finally found something that's like a holy grail status. I don't really say that about a lot of things. I mean, I say I love a lot of things, but I never really say that something's like holy grail, like I can't live without it. Um, I don't give that title to a lot of products, but this has earned it. This and probably my um, ambient lighting powder in dim light because these two are just amazing together and I use it every single day most every single day. Okay, that is it. Those were 13 of my favorite products of 2013. And like I said, I'm going to be giving away everything that I mentioned in this video. So to recap, I'm going to be giving away the Infinity or Con Air Curl Secret. I'm also giving away the Chanel Double Mirror. So this is what it looks like. This is so old. Well, not old. I mean, I've had it for like a couple of years, but I still have the little bag that came with it so yeah then my skincare faves so I have the Cebu um, hydrating serum the Clarins Beauty flash bomb and the Embryolis um, face, face cream um, if you're wondering where to get this in Toronto blur makeup room on Queen Street carries it so they carry both sizes a small one and a large which this one is I'm also giving away the biotherm body lotion I'm basically doing a recap of everything that I just mentioned in this video um, this is the Becca shimmering skin perfecter in rose gold which is so stunning you guys have to go out and get it if you don't already own it the Clarins number no. five instant light natural lip perfecter then the three mascaras that I mentioned which are the uh, covergirl clump crusher the Dior Dior show and the Lancome Hypnos Doll Lashes Mascara. So this is just in the original packaging. It's not in the limited edition packaging, although I wish it was. Then the YSL Touche Class. So this is actually in number, what number is this? Number one, because um, when I went to the counter, the associate told me this is actually the most popular one. 
but if you would like a different shade in this, if you know you're a different shade or if you want to try a different shade, just let me know and I will exchange it for you if you win. Um, because, yeah, this is just number one, which I think is just a universal shade. Um, but if you do have a preference, just let me know. Then the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. So this is in Dim Light, which is the one that I showed you because that's my personal favorite. But again, if you would like to try a different um, ambient lighting powder out, if you win and you already have dim light and you want to try something else then just let me know and um, I will exchange this also because I got a lot of these things from Sephora so um, they have a pretty lax exchange policy. Then there is the Makeup Forever Artisan Brush in number 160. I actually picked this up from iMats. Um, I'm kind of sad that their packaging is lackluster. I mean it's just a plastic bag but on the other hand it does I guess save trees more environmentally friendly to have less packaging but this is what it looks like and of course the Mason Pearson brush this is the candy version I actually bought this last year from ebeauty.ca because I, I was meaning to put this as part of my 12 days of giveaways last year but I didn't get around to it so I saved it for this year um, unfortunately since then ebeauty.ca has closed so I no longer know where you can pick up Mason Pearson brushes online if you are in Canada. So I'm sorry about that, but I did pick this up from ebeauty.ca last summer, or last, last summer, I guess. Oh my goodness. 2012 seems like ages ago now. And then lastly, the Shantikai Just Skin. So this is in the shade Glow, because um, when I was at the counter at Holt Renfrew, they told me this was the most popular shade. I don't know if that's true or not. I always thought that Nude would be the most popular shade, but apparently it's glow. Anyway, if you think you're a different shade, like maybe you're very very pale or more my skin tone, um, then I have no qualms exchanging this for um, the shade that would best suit you if you win. Okay, so if you would like to enter to win every single thing that I mentioned in this video, um, just head over to my blog. I will link it below and you can just enter via the Rafflecopter page. That's basically it. All you have to do is just enter your information there. This giveaway is open worldwide. This giveaway will be open for, I'm gonna say two weeks. I don't want it to be too long. Like, I just want to get the entries, give you guys enough time to enter, but then I just want to pick a winner really quickly and ship it off to you because I feel like I've been promising this giveaway for so long. So I'm going to say two weeks starting today, um, but all that information will be in the bottom bar below. So you can check that out if you would like more details. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Good luck if you are entering. Um, I think I said everything that I wanted to say. I'm sorry this video was so long. I just you know, getting back into filming videos. Hopefully I will film more videos in the future. Okay, that is it for me. I'm kind of hoarse now from talking. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day if I didn't say that already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!